Hey, what's up, guys? Team Hard Life Captain Albert Zertucci here. All right, so our next rod is the Vexen Inshore Series rod. And the one I'm actually holding is the extra, extra heavy at a nine foot single piece grip right here. also got into because when they announced that they had an inshore series rod coming out from Tackle Industries, what better way than to test out their new rod and to bring them in and play with them. Now we've already been using them for over a year now and we have been doing some crazy, crazy catches with them, which a lot of them you've seen. And this was the one that I was doing those double snapper on in the video where I pulled them in from about 100, 120 feet up from the bottom in about 40 seconds using an LX Raptor by Avid. 130 pound test line on that reel also ensured that I wasn't gonna break off. But this was the other thing too, with these rods, we were able to pair them up with the Avids in all shapes from the SX all the way up to the LX and even HXW for boat fishing, for jetty fishing and so forth. But I prefer to go with, at the most, an LX on them, just depending on what I'm doing. Now, if I'm long distance casting, I prefer the SX and MXL. And with this, and I've even thrown 10 ounce weights in them, using our double drop drum rig, as uh, one of my buddies was kind of making fun of me, because he, we've been posting up about the double drop drum rigs there for a minute, so he wanted to see them in action. And he quite frankly didn't believe what they could actually do until you saw me do what I did on Bob Wall Pier, and that was cast a 10 ounce weight into the wind with fish bites and bait, and didn't even budge. I mean, it, it, this is a great outstanding rod, which like I said, I fish in the bay with it, I go to piers, I go to jetties, and I go offshore with it, and still I'll fish on it on, with a kayak. I haven't done no kayak videos yet because I need the adapters to be able to hook up my recording system and not worry about it. So that's coming guys, don't worry. I'm gonna get out there. But like I said, this is the nine foot. And again, you can do a six to 16 ounce lure on these. And still, the, they've even upgraded the line. You can go up to 150 pound test, or sorry. With these, you can do 60 to 120 pound braid on them with no worries. And like I said, I mean, I'm still gonna over push everything because I need to know the max of every rod that we have in stock and what it can and can't do. The other ones, we're putting 130 pound tests, which we've done with this one as well. Cast it, horsing in fish, no problem. And this rod actually holds a 1200 pound alligator caught with one of these out of Florida. Here's some pictures from the guys out of Florida and there's the credits for them catching it. Way to go monster monster catch on it and didn't even phase the rod they're still using it so that's pretty sick that's really sick so again like i said the reason we got into these was because they were originally designed by tackle industries so one of the rare occasions that you see a rod company or a real company come out with a new invention and it's actually a bit better than the old invention you know and i know when you see it too many times the reel comes out and the original series was off the chain, and then they come out with the new one, so you get rid of the old one, thinking the new one's even better, and it's crap. But you ain't gotta worry about that with these, because like I said, you see me putting them through the ring. I, I, I'm not scared of any fish. Just, they're scared of me sometimes, because they don't ever bite. Or sometimes they don't bite. Anyway, I'll be there when they're ready to bite. So, all right guys, y'all have a good one.